afternoon. Welcome to the Chris Miles Show. What's happening, people? What's going on? Wow, man, it is a beautiful day. Um, we are here. We are here. Um, we want to do this. We want to go on and get all of the introduction stuff out of the way. For everybody out there that's watching the Chris Miles show, please go to the YouTube page and subscribe. Go to the Chris Miles show and subscribe, like, and follow. Just hit the like button and subscribe to the Chris Miles show. One of the other things that you can do is you can find us on Twitter at symbol, I'm Chris Miles. What's up, brother Ray? Uh, you can also find us on TikTok at symbol, I'm Chris Miles. Find us on place Facebook at symbol, I'm Chris Miles. So we're real easy to find out there. Also, we're exclusively on Spotify, Apple, um, what Google. Google Podcasts, and wherever you find your podcast, you can find the Chris Miles Show. I want to do this. I want to thank the two, or I say the two, but my two uh, beautiful ladies just left off your favorite aunties for a great show. I mean, um, they talked about some real concise issues that need to be addressed. Um, I'm trying to support those sisters. They have good content. I'm asking everybody to go out there and to find um, Christina Blue. She's also an author. Her daughter Heather is right there with her. They are doing good things in the community. And they will be regulars here on the Chris Miles Show from time to time. As many of you all may know, I was in a car accident I'm, I'm getting better. I got rods and pins and screws in my leg and, and my foot. And um, it's it's been raining and thundering and all that stuff. So I'm actually catching hell, but I'm I'm going to try to push through this. OK, it's 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 a hell of a thing when you have metal inside of, of, of you and you're trying to get through it. But I want to welcome everybody to the Chris Miles show. We are here. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. my main man that's putting the content on. Mr. Producer, you got something you want to say, brother? Uh, yeah, how are everyone doing today? How y'all doing on this beautiful Sunday? Uh, just want everybody that's, you know, watching, tell a friend so they can tell a friend. Y'all go subscribe to the YouTube page. Let's try to grow this thing, man. And, you know, trying to come in and entertain you guys, you know. So, um... Yeah, tell a friend, tell another friend, bring a friend, y'all join in. And this is the other thing, too. People, listen, everybody out there, Brother Ray Moore, I love this brother, man. He, he, man he's been right there with me, man. We got some things we're going through. But you know what? I love him. We're going to get through this together. But this is what I need everybody to do. If you are, wherever you're watching it, just share it. If you're on Facebook watching the Chris Miles Show, just share it. I'm going to take a minute. Uh, and go out here right now. Just bear with me for a second. Let me, matter of fact, go ahead, Mr. Producer, why I'm doing this here. Let me get these links. I'm going to position these links to these other groups out here. Um, yeah, guys, uh, like I said, y'all subscribe to the YouTube page. We, uh, we're on the road to 5,000 right now. We've been getting a couple, couple new followers. So that's good. Um, uh, we, I'm gonna see where we land in that next week, next weekend, and we'll start giving away the prizes. We'll start doing the 25 every week, cash out directly to you. Um, you know, but I, you know, today we got a pretty good show. We got a couple different guests. Um, oh yeah, the guest, the guest is gonna be. Be a yeah, it's gonna be interesting. And listen, listen, people. This, this is this is what I want to say, right? Okay, so this is the deal. We have some celebrity guests coming up in 
toward the end of the month and all of July. All right. Now, a friend of mine that I know said that. uh, She said, why are you. Talking to porn stars. Well, that's what I was going to say. Porn stars are people too. So, uh, yeah, I got a, I got a couple of porn stars that's going to come on, and we're going to interview them. We ain't got to call them porn stars. Well, 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 adult. Oh yeah, uh, oh, right. Correct. Adult entertainers. So, uh, we got some adult entertainers that we're going to bring on, and uh, we're going to talk with them. And I'm. I, I want to know about it. I want to know about all this. I want to know about the penetration, all that shit. I, I want to know. I want to know what it's like. You know, is it, how is it that you go on set and you, you know what I'm saying, you having intercourse with some dude that you probably just met. And a lot of these women are in relationship with men outside of what they do every day. So I want to, I want to, I'm, I'm curious to know about all this stuff. All right. Uh, What's going on, brother Bakwash? I see you in, man. Uh, Shalom. Uh, but yeah, so and you, yeah, you down in you down in uh, Mexico. So uh, hey, man, appreciate you uh, tuning in to the Chris Miles Show, man. We're doing some different things on here, all right? Yeah. So anyway, um, one more thing I need to uh, share. Also, too, we're live on um, Spotify. So you see this thing here? This is the Spotify excuse me, Spotify feed, all right? So, you see on the screen, we have there, Shannon Sharp. I am a, I am a fan of Shannon Sharp, okay? As, what I find interesting about this with Shannon Sharp, me and Shannon wears a part and glasses. So, could it be Shannon is watching what I'm doing, uh, Mr. Producer? It's possible. It's possible. We know Stephen A does. Oh, yeah, Stephen, a. Stephen A watched the Chris Miles show. A. Yeah, he does now. We know this to be a fact. Yeah. So, this is the thing, right? Shannon Sharp has made it public that he's leaving undisputed. undisputed. Yeah, so yeah, so if Denver gonna put that foot in Miami's ass, it's a wrap. It's over, correct? Okay. So this is this is the thing, man. Skip Bayless came from ESPN. He was on first take with initially with uh Stephen A. Started off on cold pizza. Yeah, that's what it was, right. Okay. And they were doing their thing. And uh, so um, Fox News wanted to take what they were doing and turn it into something. Sports debate. Okay, sports debate, which is, which is for the most part is a good topic. Okay. All right. So with all of that being what it is, they... Um, they brought him over. They, well, he was in New York. They brought him to California. They brought Shannon. Shannon was doing sit-ins at ESPN. Okay. So they, they brought uh, Shannon. They eventually brought him out to uh, California. And did he start off on CBS? Yeah, he did. He was, he was, he was, he was calling the football plays on, uh, on Sunday. Then he left there and he went to, he went to um, ESPN. Yeah. Okay. And he was sitting in when, when, when Stephen A. wasn't there. He was sitting in, and it just it, it blew up for him. He started to do other things, right? All right. So um, Fox got him, and they, they you know, carried him to uh, California, and they created, uh, created Undisputed. Now, as I started to watch the show, I started to realize, like, you know what? This dude, Skip Bayless, is a fucking asshole. Like, all of the things, man, like, this dude is just a hater of LeBron James. Like, he hates LeBron's guts. He gets on there. He, I mean, this shit is so, 
is so obvious. Like he's talking trash about LeBron's kid. But not only LeBron, there were a lot of football players out there, black football players, that he had disdain for. So Shannon would be the voice of reason on that particular show. He was the voice of reason, people. And being the voice of reason, he always came with something to balance out what was wrong. Yeah, he did. But he got fed up with the bullshit of somebody that ain't never played sports. And that's privileged. You understand? So he had all of these things that he was dealing with. And that was was actually getting the best of him. So in the process of that, he said, you know what? It's time for me to pack my shit and get on. As a matter of fact, we're going to play one of the videos. We're going to play a snippet of one of the videos that was overkill for Shannon. And I know many days, man, Shannon probably wanted to beat Skip ass on that show, man. Because, you know, something, you know, it's, it's something, man, to have something against a person. But then you get to the point where you're taking personal attacks on somebody. You turn this shit into something personal. So if it's personal, let's deal with it like it's personal. You understand? And everybody saw Shannon's a big dude, man. Like, this dude was ready to fight the entire Memphis Grizzlies basketball team. So somebody like that, you out there poking the bear, you out there stirring up shit with this guy. Some people out there just meant not to bother. And it's to be on the safe side. He just said, you know what? Let me just get my bags and get the hell out of here. Bring that video up, uh, Mr. Producer. Oh, yeah. Before you do, hold on. Before you do. This is Skip Bayless. Okay, bring it bring it back up on the screen, Mr. Producer. Okay, this is Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless is very biased. He's 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 uh the the guy Demar Hamlin, the guy that had the heart attack out there that played played for. The Buffalo Bills. Yeah, that's where that's where that's that's the root. That's where it all started. Okay. Um, that little Go tweet, ahead. That little tweet that uh, Skip put out there, and Shannon was trying. Skip thought he was finna tell him that he should have took it down, but Shannon, he just kept interrupting, interrupting. So it was yeah, but but that that's the root. That's the root of of, of everything. But you can go. So. Yeah, so we're dealing we're dealing with a man that has never played football or played any sports whatsoever. This guy has never played sports whatsoever, nothing. But then he's so informative when it comes to shit. Like, how in the fuck can you go out here and you talk about, man, well, you this and you that and all this other stuff, but you ain't never played sports, dude. Like... How pompous and condescending can you be? So I guess Shannon say to keep me from hurting this dude, man, let me get my shit and just get the hell out of here because I already see what direction this is going into. All right. Bring that video up, Mr. Producer. I'm going to restart it, people. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Oh, I got three Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you are. I'm better than you. Better. Get, 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 get. See what you do? You take personal shots. No, no, but no, no. Take personal shots. Shot. Shot. You started it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? You are willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me. Because I say he's playing bad this year? No, because you, you, you just, go ahead. you disrespect him. It, it's just so. It, so you and your what? It's beneath your You and your disrespect me to no, support him. No, well, I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player ever have played it. your game, and it's by have far. It. Have it. Okay? Wow. So, so, hold on. Wow. How, how, how is it, if a person is not, 
playing up to the standard that you've known them to play. How is that disrespecting? Now, re remember, this is a sports show. This is a sports show where you got analysts on there critiquing these guys in whatever sport they play. They're critiquing their playing ethical mentality or how they perform. And the fact that Shannon points out that Brady is not playing up to par of what we've been used to seeing him play. This motherfucker, excuse my superfluitive language, takes a pop shot at Shannon. In layman terms, people, what he was saying, it sounded like Skip with Drake Tom Brady basketball. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, you know, me, me sitting, and then this guy sends out a tweet. Can you can you find that tweet for me? And I'll just read it. But the point is, this guy. Exactly. Shannon did everything possible to keep his composure. But it's just not that. It's been many other issues. Like we know that Shannon Sharp is a person that is a big fan of LeBron James and a friend. They're friends. They're good friends. And the thing is, the thing is, is that this guy here goes out on a regular basis and beat up Shannon's friend. So imagine going into, I mean, this is the whole thing is a complete hostile environment. When you say I mean, people out there working on jobs, imagine going into a job. I mean, you're not doing anything hard. Basically, what you're doing is like, what we're doing. You know, come on here, shoot the shit, get a paycheck. You feel me? You feel me? But the bottom line is, you coming into a hostile environment where well, this man is completely disrespectful, man. Like, this motherfucker ain't played no sports. He did shit. He don't know nothing. He don't know nothing about sports. But he knows enough to, to get out here to be critical through his criticism of Shannon Sharp, somebody that plays sports. You understand? So this is this is what this is. And it's 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 really it's really at a point where it becomes bad when you have people will do shit like that. You understand? I sent it to your hands. Inbox for you to read it. It's an inbox. Okay. So this is what this is what Skip Bayless wrote the night that DeMar Hamlin got hurt. He said, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game, hyphen, but how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is critical to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems irrelevant. This is a inconsiderate, low life bastard to understand that they had a situation where a man had had a massive heart attack because he sustained a blow to his chest that threw off the rhythm of his heart. And this son of a bitch wanted them to go on to carry on a game. This shows you the magnitude of what type of person you're dealing with. And it shows you the privilege of how a lot of them think. But not only that, not only that, it also shows you why Shannon Sharp is leaving the show. Because Shannon realized, if I didn't leave, I'm going to hurt. And not only that, I've heard people on other shows out there, other uh, podcasts and various whatnots, people get out and talk. One of the things that they say is somebody's going to hurt Skip Bayless. 
And with that said, we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be back with our next topic. What we got next? Uh, uh, um, Uh, Stand your ground. And then we'll call that. We back. So everybody is aware of the situation of what happened down in Ocala, Florida. With this woman that you see on my screen, or on your screen, excuse me. Susan Lorenz. Once again, her name is Susan Lorenz. She shot A.J. Owens, Ajik Owens, a black mother of four kids. As the two aunties was on earlier, and I specifically told them, this is the reason why I say that fathers are needed in, excuse me, fathers are needed back in the home of the black family. Excuse me. The reason I say that is because had it been a father there, I think the outcome would have been substantially different. What you say, uh, Mr. Producer? Man, it's hard to say, but I, I think it would have went a little bit different. I think I think it would have. I say about the icon not being different because I'm saying if he would have went to the door, she probably, you know what I'm saying? She's shooting behind the door. But I don't know. It's it's hard to say, but I, I think maybe, you know, he probably would have handled it before it got to the point where she ran and hide, but it's still a tragic situation. It's either way. It's, that's terrible. It's very, very terrible. And it's tragic, very tragic. Um, I think the reason I said that it would have played different had a man been there, because I see him handling it different. You and I had a situation earlier, correct? Today. What did we do? We kicked back, we analyzed the problem, and we solved it. This is what men do. This is why you send men into war. The Most High puts everything in its in its perspective. The problem is people have gotten outside of the confines of what 
the Most High has, how he has set this order up. All of that being said, it's tragic. And it's tragic because those kids, those four kids have to realize that their mom ain't coming back. Ain't no coming back from death. And it's really a situation where damn if you do, damn if you don't, because we had to call the police out there. Typically what happens, the police don't ever take the side of black folks. They never do. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that AJ was pondering the thought, if I call the police out here, how would this shit play? Will it play different? Will it play in my favor? How would it play? But this sister lost her life, man. And what's sad, what's really sad and damning is the child saw his mother drop. And what's really more damning is that the sheriff officer down there in Ocala, Ocala, Florida, they didn't initially make an arrest. Yeah, and they, that'd, that'd be the crazy thing to me. I mean, you don't take them down and question them and get the details. You just, oh, you, didn't, you, you killed another person. So, you know, you just go in the house and go to sleep and be a reconcile later on down the line. I mean, that's crazy. That's, cra that's crazy. To me. I don't... Well, so basically the lady shot her and they didn't, like I say, they initially did not make the arrest. You know where the arrest came from, Mr. Producer? People protest. It came from phone calls, people protesting, okay? Social media. This is what people have to understand. Social media is the most popular weapon that people have in their hands. These things right here, right here, this right here, I operate with two. I keep two, okay? This is the second, this is the second right here. Wherever I go, I got two phones. I was walking around here with three, but that's overkill. You understand? But the point is, the point is that it took people calling and acting belligerent to make the sheriff do. Then finally he said, uh, well, we had to get uh, understand uh, really what happened because the lady was claiming stand your ground but she shot through the door she didn't open the door and the girl came in to the house she didn't do that she shot through the door shooting the girl in the chest standing there by the child do you wow what's crazy about this is this bitch could have shot the child man Think about that. And the goddamn sheriff of that county said, we looking at a stand your ground. She's standing there with her child. But you know what's really fucked up about this situation? Let me tell you what's fucked up about this situation. Ron DeSantis, the governor of the state of Florida, gives people like Susan Lawrence few to do what they do. This man just told, he just told police officers that were fired, terminated, come down to Florida. We'll hire you down here. We don't care nothing about your past. And this man could very well be your next president. And we are everywhere where we shouldn't be. We can't figure this shit out. We got some 
guests coming up momentarily that we're going to uh, we're going to talk about, and we're going to bring we're going to bring some uh, other people on that will be talking about some things. I'm really trying to not do a lot of political shit on the Chris Miles show. I did that. I passed that. There's really only so much you can do. What, what you got to say about that topic, Mr. Producer? I mean, it, it, it's part of our everyday life, so, I mean, if I know about it, I, I don't mind talking about it, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's, part of, it's part of the world, so. But, I mean, I, I kind of like listening to, you know what I'm saying, the older gentlemen educate us on what's going on in your community, what's going on in politics, so it's... I think it's educational and we doing our part. So when it is time to choose somebody to represent you, you, you got all the information right here on the Chris Miles show between uh, Mr. Butler when he comes on or Charles, you know, you get both perspectives. So, so people who are in, who are into politics and what's going on in your community, you know, this is the place to be. Okay, so anyway, um, what we're going to do, um, uh, okay, do you have that, uh, button? Yeah. You got it? Can you bring him up? I'm saying you got a, a such huge link that's in here. Okay. I'm saying we can take a little hot break. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take a, uh, break and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back with Mr. Buck everybody stay tuned What you calling on now? Kiki. Kiki sent me a message. Yeah, she sent me a message. It's killing her, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't fucking with her. See what I'm saying? And she, this is the kind of shit she want to do. I'm finna... I'm finna... I'm, I'm finna tell yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I'm saying he ain't doing it? No. I don't know. Hold on. So hold on. Just, just run, run around. Yeah, I got okay, all right. I did. I sent it to your DM. Okay. All right. Good morning, Mr. Butler. We're still live here on the... feed. You know, he, he said he got it. So bring me back up. I have a couple of things I want to say. All right. Alrighty. What's going on, guys? 
Yeah. All right. So we back. Yeah, we back. Okay. So, so people, people, um, we have next week. I'm working on bringing L. Milliner Eason. He's a uh, young brother who's conservative. So we're gonna bring him on, and we're gonna let him let him uh, do his thing. Me and him are going to talk about some subject matter. We're going to talk about some things that need to be talked about. All right. So, uh, is Mr. Buckner? Well, yeah, Mr. Buckner. So, anyway, uh, we hope everybody is uh, enjoying themselves, enjoying the day. And that kind of thing. Uh, I've, we've had some interesting things that pop off today, uh, Mr. Producer. Yeah, it's been interesting. Dude. Very interesting. No doubt about it. You know, I'm thinking, <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, right? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that my man might want to come on last while he, you know what I'm saying? To my charge. No. Oh, uh, Mr. Butler. Yeah. He had came in. Okay, so all right, we, we what we're gonna do is uh, let's uh, let's get Charles. Mm-hmm. And let me just say this: if anybody got some subject matter that they want to talk about, something you want us to talk about, or you want to be on the Chris Miles show, DM me. You send me a DM. I'm try to make that happen. So, oh, give me my, my, um, my finals, man. You slipping, Mr. Producer. Your what? The finals. The finals? Yeah, we, we man, like you, and this, man, we got to pay homage to, to the greatest basketball player going today, man. Come on, man. Man, uh, LeBron, LeBron ain't it right now. Yeah, we talking about. I'm talking about playing. We talking about. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on, hold on, man. Man, put this man on the screen, man. Who? Well, that's all I just say. Man, you worse than Shadow, man. Man, but that's the sad part about every everybody. What is there to hate about it, man? I love the diversity of it. So I got I got a message from um, I got a message from Miss McCall. We're gonna, we're gonna bring you on. We're gonna bring you on. Charles up. So we got in. We got. How you doing, Mr. Charles? Hey, Chris. What's going on, brother? <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have in there we go. What's going on, Charles? Now you on screen, man. I'm on screen. Yeah, you on screen, brother. Oh, good. All right. All right, man. All right. All right. So this this guy here that everybody's seeing, this is Charles Miles. No relation. Uh, he's in he's in the state of Michigan. He's in the city of Detroit. Motor City, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And he is a 
black for Trump. Yes, he's a black for Trump. So I got a couple. Yo, yeah, wave at everybody. Wave at let, let let everybody know you here. Well, I got a couple of questions for you. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let you before I before we go into the question. I'm gonna let it. I'm, I'm being rude. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm excited to have you here. I, I am. I'm gonna let you. Um, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got the flow. Do your thing, brother. Okay. Remember when, when uh, Biden uh, took over? He said, we have garnered the most voter fraud in the history of America. And that's documented. And a lot of people still play it. But remember, uh, before Trump left, Trump gave us $2,000 per person. Twice because of uh, the pandemic, COVID. Biden gets him. Remember this? What did Biden give him? Fourteen hundred dollars. So that should have been an indication right there that he really wasn't for the American people, let alone poor and black people. You know. And so, and and I'm from Detroit. We had a black mayor. You know. Um, yeah, but hold on. You know, I, let, me, let me share something with you. I was, I, you know, I don't make no, I'm not ashamed about it at all. I did fair time. And me and Kwame was in uh, Oakdale together. Yeah. Yeah. I was in, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know that brother. I do. But go ahead. Yeah, okay. Oh, good for you. Yeah. So, 
He did. Mississippi, yeah. Alabama State. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, um, let me cut in on, on you on, on a couple of things that I want to ask you. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. So this is what I want to ask you as you and I had talked earlier. So I have a couple of questions. I will say this. Trump did bring in what's called the first step act, which was to relieve and alleviate a lot of the men in prison that was uh was in there wrongfully or basically uh the ones in there that had been practically over sentence okay now this is what i want to ask you now we know this is um uh, trump has as of last week been indicted again now he's indicted on the federal level so he has 
two indictments. Well, one in the state of Georgia, where we are. He has another one in the state of New York. Now he's been indicted um, down in the state of Florida, which is on the federal level. And what I want to ask you is, okay, and it, it, I think this, this particular one here has something along the line of 30, 31 felonies attached to it. The one that's in the state of Georgia has a total, I think it's, uh, is it 12, 18, something like that? And it's also they're trying to hit him with the RICO uh, statute. The one in New York is dealing specifically with that uh, tax evasion, tax fraud. So this is what I want to ask you, Brother Charles. How do you see these things coming? I got a few questions to ask you, but primarily I want to deal with that. We're going to, we're going to run a little over because we're right now uh, at the top of the hour. But what I want to ask you, how do you support somebody like that? And do you think, do you think or do you feel that they are wrongfully going at Trump? And if so, why? her emails, hammering her servers, nothing happened. Look at Hunter White with what they say underage girl, cocaine, get caught with a gun. This uh overseas uh what call it money laundering. Now they go after they go after Trump who legally So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me let me ask, let me answer your question. Stop right there for a second. So Trump took classified documentation. Okay, listen, listen to what I'm going. He took classified documentation, which is top secret, had that had not been declassified. He carried those boxes down to Mar-a-Lago where he resides. Okay, he put those. Uh, top secret information in, he put him in a, hey, he put him into his um, bathroom, shower, and all these other places. People coming into those particular places had access to that information. And he's saying that he declassified it, but those, some of those things are dealing with how to build nuclear bombs. Some of those things are dealing with uh, information pertaining to things dealing with war that was dealing with General Milley. You can't declassify that stuff. I know this much, Brother Charles. Why you think? Why you can't? I heard you declassified. But I'm saying, okay, so let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you something. Let's use logic and reasoning right here, right now, right? If I have some information and the information is on how to weaponize, just say I have a another pandemic, right? I'm just a hypothetical. I have how to take out 20 million people. OK, let's say this this here is use it. I'm just using hypotheticals here. This here, I this this thing here, I could take out 20 million people, right? And you come into my place of residence. You take that out of you. First of all, you didn't ask me. Or you didn't go through the proper channels to get it, but you take it out and you carry it with you. And you have this information that could potentially do something damning or harming to the world. Okay? And you put this stuff in a un- Unsafe environment. I mean, come on, let's let's use logic and reasoning, brother. We're talking about stuff dealing with 
you know, like massive death. We're talking about stuff dealing with the advantage that the United States, you are, you're a military guy. We're talking about stuff dealing with how, what makes the United States superior over their, their military superior to other nations. And this man takes this stuff. Now, I'm, I'm not pro or con uh, Trump or Biden. But what I'm saying is some things logically doesn't add up and doesn't make sense. So this man carried this information well, hold on, and put it in a bathroom. I got to take a piss, so I'm going in this bathroom. What's all this stuff in there? I go in and I start looking. I might want to take some stuff out of there. He said you declassify. You can't declassify something like that. That's what I'm saying. Now, if I'm wrong, correct me. How? Well, well, brother Charles, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, let me ask you, did, 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 this, is, this is what happened. This is true that Biden had secret information. But let me tell you the difference is, the difference is, Brother Charles, Biden and everybody, including Pence, who took documentation when they asked for it, they gave it back. Trump is in trouble today. He's indicted today because he did not return the inf- he could have gave his shit back and it would have been all of this would not be the conversation. But he kept it. He kept the information. So, so wait a minute. So hold on, hold on. Let's come on. Come on, brother Charles. You're telling me we have the components on paper how to split the atom, the neutron and all of this shit. Hold on. Let me finish. Well, well, you know, this, but this is it. This is it. Sending billions of dollars to Ukraine. What about us? What about our veterans? He's letting all these illegals across the border give them free hotel, food stamps. Oh, this, this, this guy, man. I, I, I can't believe what's going on. Get in on it. Well, they need to get rid of. yes, I'm saying. He making a point about them, about them migrants, man. Well, listen, this, 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 this is the thing. We had, we had a, a brother in here a month ago. Okay, they are spending sixty. What is it? Sixty million. Sixty million a week. Sixty million a week. Between California. Hold on, yeah. So, so, well, we had somebody break down the number the, on the border from from Texas to. California, they are spending, the United States is spending $60 million a week uh, to fight immigration. Yeah. Now, so, but, but, but that, that's not the topic right now. Okay. That's not the topic. Oh, we, 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 we'll come to that. 
But what I'm, this is what I'm asking you. We're talking about declassifying documentation. I'm telling you, you're saying that Trump, a man that is no longer, he's no different than you and I, because he's, 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 he's out in the public. He's not the president anymore. He takes information, Brother Charles, that's important to the survival of mankind. Like I'm talking about, and a lot of people think that he took, now, as a matter of fact, Bob Barr, you know who Bob Barr is, correct? Okay, Bob Barr was on this morning, and he said Trump is in a pickle because he understands the dynamics of what he believed Trump, the intentions were. And he said, this guy was the attorney general under the Trump administration. He specifically said that he didn't have the right to take that information from uh, out of the White House. And he did. Now, like I told you before, I'm not pro con because from what I have gathered and from what I've seen, when it pertains to us, we're on our own. And I appreciate you coming on. But this is what I'm saying. You, no one can convince me. No one can convince me that he had the authority to declassify something dealing with blowing up the world, man. We're talking about top secret shit, Brother Charles. Well, maybe, maybe they will look into Biden. Well, they're saying they're saying that's not true. So, you know, um, and that is the argument. That is the argument that Donald Trump is making is that Biden left with more documents. But this 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 let me say this because I hold on. I, hold on. I have a few more questions I want to ask you. This is what I want to say. Say to you. Right. Once again, I am simply saying this. Trump could have could have simply settled the issue by when they asked for the information back, gave it to him, and he wouldn't be in this. And I see a lot of the things, the problems that have incurred, he caused them. Now, this, this is the other thing I want to ask you. This is what I want to ask you. Let's talk about January 6th. Do you feel, now, you wanted the blacks for Trump. But do you feel, brother, that, huh? I wanted to go there. Are you? Wow. Well, you probably been caught up in all of the stuff that's going on right now. Well, sometimes you have to uh, fight. You know, Trump, if you listen to his speech, he say peacefully protest. Listen to his speech. He didn't have nothing to do with that. So, so you're saying, you're saying that he, he's, remember he sent out a tweet, okay? Trump sent out a tweet, okay? And the tweet that he sent out was the tweet that galvanized everybody to come to D.C., all right? Now, and this is why Twitter banned him, took him, throw him completely off of their platform. It was only up to Elon Musk purchased Twitter that he was able to get back. But that's why they throw, if everybody out there don't know why he was kicked off of Twitter, 
He was kicked off because of January 6th. Now, now let me finish. Let me finish. So you're telling me, you're telling me on this, this on the Chris Miles show right now, you're telling me that you don't think that Trump was trying to overthrow the government. What was that about? Okay. I was living down there with a Rita Franklin and millionaire and stuff like that. So my friend came in there, we was watching the NBA finals, said, Hey man, they down there fighting down there at the Coco Hall. And that's that's where they had the boat at. And uh I say, What for what? So you got the uh, uh black forces for Trump and it, and uh, and uh the Democrats mainly going nose to nose down there. And so I wanted to go, but I had my son. I, I got, he was like uh, five years old then. I couldn't take him down there like that. Anyway, it was on the news the next day that these vans pulled up at 4 o'clock in the morning with 147,000 ballots all for bikes. Trump in the morning, Trump had had won Michigan, but when they extended the vote count, had overturned Michigan, and Trump won Michigan for the first time. I think that was the first time uh, in 50 years, in 16, when Trump won Michigan. He was going to win again. So all these ballots, they, they had a Chris look. They had all these pizza boxes. On the window, block, block it. Anybody that can see in there, a camera. You got the people, the poll watchers say they were picked off. And the mayor, the mayor had authorized, you know, the Democratic mayor had authorized them to keep, for, for the poll watchers to leave. And one woman protested, she said, give me my, my purse left up there. Why are you kicking us out? You know. And that went on the news and all like that down here. So, so but this, 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 I'm just saying, Trump put it out there because it, it was it, it, it's, it's a fraudulent election. Okay, all right. So, so you, so you alleging, you alleging, you alleging. Alleg- hold on. Okay, hold on, Charles, Charles. Hey, let me ask you something. Charles, hold on. Stop, stop right there. Stop right there. Just just slow your roll. I want to ask you something. Okay? I want to ask you a question. What would have happened? You saw what you say you wanted to go. So we're going to put that one to the side. But this is what I want to ask you. What would have happened if black men had went to D.C. and did what we saw those white men do? Now, you had some blacks out there, but what would have been the decree? What would have been the situation had black men went there and did what we saw them do? What would have happened? You know what would have happened. That's not a good question. You know the answer to that question. And this is this is what I'm saying. Go ahead. The black man, the black security guard that shot Babbitt, he didn't, nothing happened to him. And he, why did he shoot her? 
Well, she was, she was you saw what she was doing. And then this is the thing. We we have gotten we have gotten killed for much less, brother Charles. So you you got a you got a kid. Tamir Rice was playing with a goddamn toy gun and was murdered. So let's not go there and pretend like you know this woman. This woman that was they, she was trying to get in into the House of Congress where those people. Let's let's not make mistake. No, excuse me. Let's not make excuses for bad behavior. Okay, we knew. I'm not saying she should have been killed, but what I'm saying, he specifically gave her, he told her to stand down. He didn't just fire on that woman, man. He didn't just fire on her. Well, well, you well, well, I'm, 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 you're talking to the wrong person if you're looking for me to give sympathy for somebody that was privileged to go there to do what she did. I've seen too many of our people die in the streets of this of the United States. So don't don't look for me to be that sympathetic person on that end. But this is back to the subject matter. I get you. Well, what, 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 brother Charles, you should die. Listen, you should know you should direct that 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 statement to them because you just we just had a situation. We just had a situation where a white woman shot a black one, black girl in, in front of four of her kids down there in Florida. So I am not the one for you or any goddamn body to come talk about life because people are sitting out here talking about the FBI. The, the FBI stuck AR-15s to my grandkids' head. Okay? When, when all of this shit was going on with Chris Miles, did nobody step up and say, we need to defund the FBI. I live with this shit every day, Charles. So don't, I am not that person for you or anybody to come tell me about defunding it. I don't give a fuck, excuse my superfluitive language, about what happened to that woman or anybody when this shit is being, when we're being constantly fucked over every day. If anybody got a problem with what I'm talking about, turn, turn the Chris Miles show off. But I'm going to speak my goddamn mind. I wear this shit every day because I'm reminded of it. You understand what I'm saying? You right. Life is precious. But life seems to only be precious when it affects a certain uh, constituent in this country. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking. I'm, I'm, I'm turned up now. I'm animated now because I know of situations. We have a young black kid down. Let me finish. We have a young black kid right today that sits in an Alabama prison. He did something with some friends. When the folks showed up, he ran. The police shot his friend and put this. They put this kid in jail. OK, not in jail, but in prison. And they gave him the, the cop killed. The cop killed his friend. They gave this kid. They gave a kid 65 years. OK, so don't I am not that person. I am not that person for to to say, oh, well, well I, I need to show sympathy for them when I'm seeing us constantly being fucked over every day. You understand? Now, I get what you're saying. But what I'm saying is at some point in time and it's cool and I appreciate you coming up. No disrespect to you. But this is what I'm saying. It seems to be it simply seems to be that all of the problems, the man that you support. All of the problems that is on his part at his front door are problems that he created. Because I'm going to say this. You said that he had a he declassified. If somebody tells me so, if I got something that belongs to you, Charles, you say I want it back. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give it back to you because I don't want no beef with you. I am not going to call. Even if I thought even if I thought somebody stole something from me. I'm going to go through the proper channels to try to resolve or alleviate that problem. That's all I'm saying. This man is going out here because he feels like he's had the authority. I'm not saying Trump is a bad person. I'm just saying he's made dumb decisions. And the shit that he did. Okay, then we all do. We all do. But what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is. They go off on this man like he just 
that evil. Every president that fucked over somebody and did some stupid shit. So I'm saying they put more of that shit on Trump than anybody. I'm saying it, it's, it's it's not fair. It, it ain't. I'm not saying I, that it's I'm fair. Saying I ain't got no dog. I, in I don't have a dog in the fight. And, I, and, and, and I, listen, I rather, I rather President be Trump right now than what the fuck Biden doing. But I'm just saying. It, it ain't doing too much. This is the he point. about what he's saying about all the shit that Biden did and they done caught him and his son keep getting off all the espionage. I'm not, I'm not, but, 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 but this, this is the thing. I'm not saying that he's not wrong. That's why I gave him to the floor. This is what I'm saying, Charles. This is what I'm saying to you. Let's, let's go back to where we are in the initial conversation. I only hear of uh, and the reason I brought up my situation and the situation of the kid is all of a sudden now, because of the people that has been locked up federally from going on January 6th and all this other stuff, what's the laid out of Marjorie Taylor Greene? Everybody now wants to defund the police. Everybody wants to defund the FBI. Well, guess what? I recall during the time of the Black Panthers and all this other stuff was going on. Guess what was going on? Black people were protesting. Nobody came to you. You just talked about that. You just talked about that. What was the defunding aspect then? Nobody was talking about defunding anything or anybody. Nobody was talking about cutting the money. It's only when a certain group of people are affected, then we have to talk about the defund issue. And what I'm saying is, had it been me, you, Charles, Mr. Producer, Ray Moore, and some of these other guys out here that marched up to D.C. And matter of fact, Farrakhan killed a million, a million men. And there was no disorderly shit going on whatsoever. So imagine well, however many people that was there. If there was all black men that bust out the glass, went in there and white feces on the wall and all that kind of stuff and did that. What would have been? It would have been a slaughter. And so I'm not I'm not knocking. I appreciate you coming on. I do. And I'm not I'm not against Trump and I'm not for Biden. I'm not for Biden and against Trump and I'm not for Trump and against Biden. I'm neutral. I don't have a dog in the fight. But what I'm saying is to you, what I'm saying to you is from what I see and from what I've seen go on, a lot of the problems that Trump has, he caused them. But I'm going to give you back the floor. I'm going to let you close. Is he still there? We're going to take a break and see if we can get him back up. Got it from. Hey man, I, I can't deal with all that. Hello? I'm here. Yeah, I can't. I don't know what kicked you off, man, but I can't deal with No, what happened? What, this is the thing, Charles. This is the thing, bro. You know, uh, uh, so I was just asking my yacht about, and I, I appreciate you coming on. But then, let me just say this. I, we're going to try to bring you back. Let me say this. I have a grandchild. Bring another one up. I have a grandbaby, okay? The FBI came in. The FBI came in, Charles. And they stuck guns to my kid's head. Okay? I wear that shit every day. Nobody came to my defense and asked me or said anything about defunding anybody. It was only when this shit happened with those guys up there in D.C., man. Everybody's talking about defunding folks. Okay. 
Well, they shook that. I mean, the FBI, the CIA, the one that brought cocaine in this country. And that's exactly. So that's that's my point. That's that's that that's that that's the thing. Listen, Charles. Listen. Now, I mean, uh, you know, I want to I want to give you the last word. I'll send you a link. I ain't gonna say shit. You close out. Uh, uh, if not, then I'm gonna bring somebody else up. Yeah, well. All right, man. You wanna close? All right, man. I, I have to click. I have to go ahead and click back on that. No, you can't. Send him another link. I'm gonna I'm let you close. I'm gonna give you the flow, and then I'm gonna bring somebody else up, bro. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Send me a clean. No, man, I'm saying, man, no, uh, that, that shit, man. No, no, my y'all. Yes, I know how you feel. Hell no, man. I, I carry that shit every, I carry that shit. Saying, that's what I'm saying. This ain't about you. This ain't the Chris Miles therapy. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
uh, Big Meeks is from Detroit. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't have to. I'll say it. I was in Arkansas with him. Okay. We were there together. We worked out together. We worked out. Okay. I know him very well. Uh, no, I don't. I, I, I don't. I haven't since I left. Uh, but yeah, well, well, well th- but this is the thing. One of the young men, one of the young men that I met that was associated with him, right? The kid, very smart kid, the, the, you know, they became very fond of me. They call me Doc. He specifically told, they, well, let me just say this. This young man, and we're talking about an unbalanced system, how things are set up. Do you know that they gave, and I try, this is why I try to talk to young black men. This is, the, 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 that's not, that system is not what they want to be a part of. They gave this young guy, the, the, the kid was a student at Michigan State, but they gave him, 60 months for a bullet. He had a 38 bullet in his pocket. Okay. They gave him, Brother Charles, 60. You know what 60 months is, right? Five years. Now, now hold on, hold on, hold on. This kid had a bullet in his pocket. He got 60 months. That's five years. We're talking, we're talking about guys that went to D.C. For whatever reason, they went there that went into the White House, that white feces and urinated and took documents out of them. They're getting six months. So for me, I'm asking, this is why I'm compassionate about this. I want somebody to make this shit make sense to me. me. Now, how do you give a black kid that's a, uh, a student at Michigan State 60 months for a bullet, but we had somebody go in there and knock the glass out. He got six months. And this kid had never really been in any trouble. No more than, you know, little things that they do up there in Detroit. You from there, so you know. I wasn't mad. No, 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 no. I wasn't mad at you. I wasn't mad at you. I'm mad. No, no. This is what I'm saying. When you said defund, listen, listen, brother child, I'm I'm not mad at you. I would never be mad at you. I'm mad at the system. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I am upset with the system because the system railroads us. We got a situation. Listen, once again, we got a situation down there in Florida where a young girl was killed. If it had not been for social media, the sheriff that was not going to arrest the lady. And so what I'm saying is the system is not balanced. I don't see Joe Biden or Trump or nobody balancing the system. It's like it's like the crime bill. Let me tell you what I dislike about Trump. I mean, about Biden. Black people been here for 400 years marching and begging for equality. And the Asian people came out here right when the guy over in Atlanta where we are got the killing uh, went in there and shot up those uh, Asian women in those nail shops and those um, massage parlors. They immediately got a crime bill. We are yet to get a crime bill to a uh, protection. So what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, Charles, I'm yet to hear anybody, if it's on a Democrat or Republican side, talk about how we're going to fix black people. My concern is fixing black people, man. And so maybe you, maybe you have the answer through Trump. Maybe Trump, maybe Trump is trying to fix black folk. I haven't seen, I ain't seen nobody fix it. Even Obama didn't do it. When I, everybody got out here and voted for Obama. But when Obama got in there, the only thing he pushed was Obamacare. And he pushed rights. Uh, he pushed gay rights, which they, which they got a lot of, they got a lot of rights. And then what they were trying to do was bring Hillary Clinton back to, I guess, do the things that they felt like he didn't do. But Trump got elected. But you got the floor. Go ahead. You correct on a whole lot of that stuff. I mean, I agree with you. What are we going to do for black people? You know, and everybody. You know, I think, and this is what I think. I believe Trump got, 
<laughs> it was all ethnic, black, white, Asian, Arabs. I walked in on a conversation, Chris. They were like, I'm glad people are waking up about Biden. Biden got to go. I'm just listening to him. So he's definitely not the answer. And the Democratic Party is definitely not the answer. Now, Trump got with Martin Luther King's son. He came to Detroit, asked all these black leaders, what can I do for you? Steve Harvey, Ben Carson, let's put this group together. Urban Development Initiative. Let's see what we can do for these urban communities. Trump funded historical black colleges for 10 years. Trump has turned America around economically. Inflation was only 1.4%. So that's inclusive of all people, the middle class and poor people. How can gas go from here in Michigan, 187, we just said 190, to almost $6? How's that helping the middle class and poor people, brother? Gas, food, you got credit cards, right? You got it. Hmm. Computer. Hey, hey, Charles. But hold on. You, you, I agree with you on that. This, this is another thing. You do realize the Ukrainian people can come in here and get. Disability. They can come to you, 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 Ukraine. Ukrainians can come into the United States and in the same things that have been afforded to the citizens of the United States, the Ukrainian people are getting. It. Now, this this is this is a fact. As a matter of fact, Umar Johnson was talking about that uh, back here a month ago. I was in on this this uh, this Zoom call with some people. And this is one of the things that came up. So you're right about that. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not beefing with you on any of the things. My thing is, I was, my thing was, was the classified documents. Okay. He said he declassified. I disagree with you. I'm saying that he can't. My other thing was, I was asking about, um, the, uh, January 6th. And, uh, this was the other thing. I want to ask you this too. Do you think that Donald Trump is a racist? I'll put it like this here. Because a lot of black people seem to think so. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to say no for this reason. Going back over his history, brother, when he was younger, and his daddy was a racist, we know that. So that probably had uh, some influences on Trump. But they say, well, damn, Trump was a... Trump, uh, he's the only one that helped Tyson out when Tyson couldn't get a fight. Let him box it up. It's the Trump Towers. Say, say, only, only time Trump becomes racist is when he was running for president. Say, look, look at all the uh, black people, Muhammad Ali, and all the black people that uh, was around Trump and Trump was around him. So, so you, don't, you don't, Charles, wait a minute. You don't think some of the things that he said was hurtful? You know what I'm saying? You you just told me a minute ago, huh? Yes, I do. Okay, listen. 
Okay. All right. Let But isn't that the agenda? Isn't that the agenda of the United States? I say, isn't that the agenda of the United States? It doesn't necessarily matter who's there. It matters that this is a part of a system that has been put in place. So if it's you or I that goes in there, we have to follow the protocol of what the system dictates. When you agree? Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, I, yeah, I do. George Wallace down there in Alabama. You know he voted for uh, 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 segregation. He didn't vote for desegregation. Biden voted for segregation. Didn't want his kids going to a uh, uh, school with black people. He was, Biden was against desegregation. Biden is the first one. You know Biden introduced the law criminalizing black, targeting black people along with Bill and Hillary Clinton. Yep, you, that's true. The, the full time, the full -time true. offender law. That's true. true. The full time offender. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You're absolutely right. And you know what? And, and, and Biden introduced it in his He sure country. did. He, he right about that. He did. He absolutely, you're absolutely right. And he did do that. And as a matter of fact, let me say this, Charles. I do believe this in life, man, that the most high governs everything. All of the things that Biden signed off on and he has done, he's seen it through come back on his kids. Now they'll watch. What's the guy named the kid? What's his name? Hunter. Hunter Biden. And he lost another child in the military. So what I'm saying is a lot of times the things that we do are not necessarily a place at our front door, the Lord will place it at your kid's door because he said, I will pass the punishment down to the fourth generation. Am I right? Okay. Okay. So what I'm saying is you're right about what you're saying about some of the policies that was, that was implemented and that was passed and put out there. I'm just simply telling you when it comes to the things pertaining to um, uh, some of the things that was done. Now you was talking about Trump's uh, dad. I do remember that the federal government sued them because they would not rent. But I think I don't think that was Trump. I think that was more so free. So which that was his dad, correct? That was his dad. But I'm I'm just simply saying this, uh, Charles, that um. I don't see a lot of good things coming out of this situation for him with him with all of these indictments uh, being we're going to bring you back on. Definitely. Please. I want you to come back. But I, I but I'm just telling you, Charles, I'm asking you. With all of this stuff going on, this you still going to support him. You, you ride with him. You in the car with him. You asking me that? Go ahead. I can't answer. But I, I will I will bring somebody else up to see if you know they have a a question to that. But I, I'm I'm not that person for you to ask. Because as I stated to you earlier, um I see all of it being it's 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 one bird with two wings. You understand what I'm saying? Open up the Keystone Pipeline. You know, that's going to lower inflation, man. 
dollars. I'm going to end it with this here, brother. Our dollar is backed by the petrol dollar. It used to be backed by gold. I was in the military. I seen Fort Knox. It used to be backed by gold. We right. Gold now. Right. But now it's backed by oil and gas. Do you know it's been five countries now? China, Iran, right. Arabia, Bricks. Uh, 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 it's called Bricks. 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 Well, but the United States have always done that, Charles. Listen, listen, we, listen, brother, we got off, we got off the gold standard back in 1933. Okay. So the, the reason why the United States dollar has been the world note is because of the United States military. So now you're seeing all of these things flare up. You got bricks. Okay. You, you right. Inflation, they, they, they're printing money that they don't have to cover. So they're just, they're just printing money. So now these other nations, Brazil, Russia, uh, India, uh, South Africa, now guess what? Saudi Arabia and Iran are going over to the BRICS system. So this will, de- completely, this will completely decay the American system and our money. So once that happens, people, go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. Right. But what I'm saying, once that happens, and we, we, when we brought the Chris Miles show back, me and Mr. Producer, that was the first thing we talked about. They're also going to, now the Democrats are doing this. They're going to the digital currency, and they're going to, what's it called? Fed now, right? Fed now. All of this is under... Yes, uh, CBDC, correct, right. So, and, and this is the thing. Most people are not aware of these things, you understand? Chris, I'm glad you, you smart, man. I'm glad you up on it, man. It's all up under this demonic Democrat. Said, Trust me, I voted Democrat more than I did anything. But open your eyes, people. Black people, open your eyes. They're not for you. Is this still? And with that, we're going to end this segment. Thank you, Mr. Charles. We're going to get you back yeah, on. You, man, we're going to get Appreciate you. Back you, back you, you you'll you'll be back. That's Charles Miles Blacks for Trump. Blacks for Trump. That's Charles Miles. Let's take a commercial break and see what we can get. Because we actually going way over. We're going to get, what's the name, maybe, what, 10 minutes at least? Maybe. Thanks, Charles. Appreciate you, bro. All right. Oh, shit. This is the last one. Shit, man. Hold on, man. Shit, man. Man, I know what's going on. I'm going to go in that bitch and go out, man. That's not the same one, is it, my y'all? Oh, this thing? This thing oh, yeah, because this is. This is going in. Hold on. Just you going to run it. I'm going to see if I can get him. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, he just called me. Yeah. He's going to go out. Shit. Yeah, he's going to go out first. One of y'all going to go out. Show that he what's called and he um. I know it's the owner. 